Good morning, welcome back to Sam's Doing Stuff. So today we're gonna take a new twist on an old product. This is not a new product at all. This is the Grass Gator Brush Cutter Replacement Head for string trimmers. Now, um, what's new? Well, it says very clearly on the back, you can see the instructions back here. It says not to be used with electric or battery powered trimmers and not to be used with a curve shaft gas trimmer, only to be used with straight shaft gas trimmers. So. Um, screw that, I'm gonna go ahead and do an electric trimmer on it. So if you watch one of my previous videos, and I'll leave a link in the description, uh, this here is the power head that I bought. It's a 60 volt DeWalt. Uh, the model number is a DCS T972 DeWalt string trimmer, edger, you know, you can put all kinds of attachments on it. You know, it works with all of my old attachments. So anyway, this is a very powerful battery operated head. And the only reason that I could think that they would say not to use electric or battery operated is because they might be underpowered and it might not perform the way it's supposed to. So anyway, I've got this old string trimmer head, which is a pain in the butt to fill. It's one of those you gotta take apart and then wrap the string around it. And you know, it's old, uh, it was used on a gas trimmer. This was, you know, you see it says four cycle right there. It used to be from an old Toro power head. So I'm gonna choose this one. I'm gonna remove this string trimmer head and we're gonna put this on to replace it. Also wanna mention this head right here, this is the string trimmer head that came with the DeWalt power head. I've never used it yet. Uh, but I think it's very valuable to have string trimmer because you want to use string when you're going up against something like your mailbox post or up against your house, something you don't want to damage. So I've got to keep the string trimmer, but this is a much better head than this one. So might as well use the older crappier one to replace the head on. Let's see what we got. Well, it says that they're solid steel blades and they are steel. They're kind of thin, but they're steel. Um, I, one point in my life, long time ago, I bought one of these grass gators that had the plastic blades. And uh, while they did cut better through thick vegetation, they broke pretty easily. So uh, I'm interested in seeing what these metal blades are gonna do. They give you all kinds of nuts and bolts that may be needed depending on what type of string, or trim, string trimmer head you have. Uh, so, you know, they're thinking of everything for you. There we go. <laughs> there it goes, finally. All right. Well, that's not easy with an old, old, old trimmer head. Anyway, got it off. <laughs> so once you get uh, the old head off, you gotta just find the right nut or bolt, depending on how it's threaded, that fits, I found it. So it seems to me that once you find the right nut, you just uh, put it on there and tighten it down. I think that's it. Ready to rock and roll. Let's test it out. Well, this seems like a perfect place to give it a shot. So I've got really tall, thick vegetation. These are all thistles. <laughs> They're about six feet tall, some of them. This is crazy. Anyway, let's just start on this little stuff here. Let's see if that, well, first of all, let's see if the electric battery powered trimmer runs it. Seems like it's working fine to me. Let's give it a shot. Woo! Oh yeah. Wow. So just to be clear, a standard string trimmer is going to get all wound. This is really thick and tough stuff. I've tried it before. Standard string trimmer just doesn't, this, this is doing a much, much better job. Oh boy, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. The only problem is it works so fast I got a mess. <laughs> oh, I should get the tractor with the grapple. I wonder what the grapple would do. Just see if we grab a bunch of it. Rip it out. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't work. Well, I am impressed. You know what? Sometimes there are those tools you get that are just like, yes. And this is one of them. This thing, like butter through that stuff. This is gonna be the main attachment on my trimmer from now on. Every once in a while, I'll put the string trimmer back on. Like I said, when you gotta get close to the house or close to something, you don't wanna mar up a tree or whatever. But this thing, man, does it make fast work of weeds. I can't believe it. And answering the question, does it work on an electric trimmer? Yes, this 60 volt DeWalt trimmer is definitely powerful enough to run it. I have run it for about an hour and 15 minutes and I have one, one, one bar left on my battery. And this is a nine amp hour battery. So I'd say that's pretty impressive because these are thick, tall weeds and boy, did I make a pile. I think I'm gonna have to put this in the dump trailer to take it down to the burn pit. Whew. So anyway, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna box blade this whole thing, rip up the rocks, get it smoothed out, get some grass on it. Yes, wow, finding a solution to a problem. I love it. So the uh, Grass Gator, I'm not sponsored by anybody, not sponsored by DeWalt, not sponsored by Grass Gator, but the Grass Gator brush cutter blades, whoo! I am impressed. I love it. So, hey, glad you stopped by and tuned in. Hope you learned something from it. If you really like these things, I'm going to put an Amazon link in the description so you can find it. I think it was like $35 or something like that. Worth every single penny. Absolutely. I love it. So we'll see how long it lasts, but you could replace the blade. You take one screw out and you can replace the blade if you ding it. So, huh. Yes, sir. I like it. So anyway, thanks for stopping by and we will see you next time when I am doing more stuff. See you then.